Good evening. December 11th may go down as the day of the biggest robbery in our country's history, and it happened right here in New York. Somewhere between three and five million dollars in cash and valuables was taken from the Lufthansa cargo terminal out at Kennedy Airport. And the law enforcement officers say that it was carried off with such precision and such daring, you almost have to consider it an inside job. Here's Anthony Preisendorf. The Red Baron was caught napping, and not by amateurs either. This band of robbers had everything down pat and made the entire caper from beginning to end go as smoothly as Swiss clockwork. Shortly before four this morning, while the moon was on the wane, a black Ford van slipped out of the shadows in the cargo area and stopped at a padlock gate of the adjacent Argentine Airlines. One snip with heavy bolt cutters, and that security checkpoint might as well not have been there. The band of robbers, six and perhaps seven men wearing ski masks, drove around to the loading dock. When they jumped one Lufthansa worker, his screams made a security guard inside open the door. That was the end of security. The gunmen rushed inside and knew exactly where to go. They forced the night supervisor to disconnect the silent police alarm and then take them to the high value room on the first floor. The other eight workers who were on duty at the time were herded into a third floor cafeteria and handcuffed. One worker who resisted was pistol whipped. His scalp needed five stitches. After the supervisor had opened the safe for the thieves, the rest was duck soup. They took 30 shipments of gold, pearls, jewelry, and checks. They also knew just where to look for the three million dollars in used money that had been flown in on Friday from Frankfurt, intended for delivery later in the day to the Chase Manhattan Bank. Used money, in bank parlance, is money that's already been in circulation, and more importantly, money for which no record of serial numbers exists. Needless to say, the Red Baron's face was a little redder than usual today, but officials pointed out, he'll survive. Uh, it'll have one impact, I'm sure, that we have to again uh, reassess uh, our security. Mm -hmm. But it is as good as it humanly can be done. So, you know, robberies are something that happens. The big unanswered question at this stage of the investigation, and perhaps you could call it a $3 million unanswered question, is why all these valuables were allowed to remain here at the cargo terminal all weekend instead of being shipped off to the banks as they were supposed to be. At JFK, this is Anthony Preisendorf, Channel 5 News.